Tak, 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 tak. Hi guys and welcome to another short English video blog. Um, it's been quite a while, but um, well, I thought this time it had to be. I've been in uh, Stuttgart yesterday, as some of you know, and uh, went to a Deep Purple concert. And what can I say? It was pretty freaking amazing. But let's uh, let's start with the the opening act, Ed Guy, German power metal. Um, soft power metal, definitely not true metal at all, <laughs> but but a great band and uh, they, well the show was pretty cool. They played for uh, 45 minutes and they really knew how to uh, to entertain the crowd and how to warm the people up. So that was quite fun. Although there weren't really that many metalheads in the audience, um, the people really liked the band and I've overheard one guy standing next to me after the show, uh, the Ad Guy show, he said, oh man, that ballad was really great. <laughs> okay, well, um, obviously they played Save Me, um, I think one, not one of their, their best ballad, and um, made the crowd sing and everybody sang along. That was pretty cool. And what else did they play? They played, uh, of course, uh, King of Fools and Laboratory Love Machine, Tears of a Mandrake, which is a pretty cool song and a bunch of others and what's cool about Ad Guy, you you really see that these guys have fun on stage and they they are joking with each other like the bass player is chasing one of the guitar players um, around the stage and the other guitar player is um, like making some jokes with the drummer like telling him into this cymbal and then the hi-hat and stuff so um, yeah Ad Guy is a band I can definitely recommend to see live if you have the chance. Um, well then it was time for Deep Purple. They played for uh, well, a bit more than two hours actually and um, well it was simply amazing. Mind-blowing show. Uh, I stood right in front of Steve Morse like in the fourth row or something. Uh, I missed <laughs> all the pics he threw <laughs> to the audience because they didn't get to me but the three people in front of me <laughs> always called them well bad luck but um, yeah it was pretty cool to to actually have the chance to um, well to, to view him all the time and what he does with his guitar it's, I mean not like like I could do it even if I practiced <laughs> a couple of hours a day but um, yeah that was pretty amazing his vibrato is is awesome and the uh, the stuff he did with the whammy bar um, never actually realized that in the Deep Purple songs but now seeing it live and seeing him do that stuff um, that was amazing so I will definitely have to to use the whammy bar on my, on my strat a bit <laughs> a bit more often and they started off with Fireball and Into the Fire and really had the audience going right from the start <coughs> Battle Rage is on, followed um, shortly after that and Strange Kind of Woman, just to name their uh, more popular or um, best known songs. And then it was time for a guitar solo um, from from Steve Morse for like five or six minutes. That was mind blowing. <laughs> I've said that a couple of times now but it really was. Um, Ian Pace actually played the drum solo so well I'm not a big fan of drum solos but this one was really awesome and um, it was fun to, to watch him because the last drum solo I saw was uh, it must have been from Travis Barker from Blink-182 and Travis Barker is one of these guys who uses <laughs> like his whole body and Ian Pace just simply sat there doing everything from his wrists and the solo was just as good as uh, okay now that's a <laughs> that's a stupid thing to say but Travis Barker and Ian Pace they both know how to um, compose and deliver great drum solos. <laughs> Let's just keep it that way. Um, Don Airy, the uh, new keyboard player, uh, well, well, new, he's in the band for 10 years now, also played a solo. I, f I found it a bit annoying because it was just too long and I'm not a big keyboard fan. I, I liked it better when, when he and Steve Morse kind of uh, threw melodies around um, with this question reply thing that, that was cooler than his his 
keyboard solo. But still, uh, you can tell he's he's a very great musician. And the last solo that followed um, in the encores was the bass solo by Roger Glover. Um, great stuff. I mean, he's a great bass player, and he's got some some sick grooves. And that solo was beyond amazing. Um, I've never imagined that a bass bass solo could be so good, but it actually was. And the last song they played before the encores was actually um, Smoke on the Water, which I thought would have been the last song. Um, but it wasn't. Well, the last song, obviously there's only one left, was uh, Black Knight. And uh, as other encores, they played uh, Speed King. And what else was it? I guess it was, what was uh, Hush. <coughs> yeah. So, all in all, awesome concert. It was their last concert for of their uh, German tour. And if any of you guys have the chance to either see Ed Guy or Deep Purple anywhere in the future, um, seriously go there. These two bands know how to kick it live and um, you don't want to miss this. So thanks for watching. Um, I'm not sure when the next English video blog will be up, but I'm pretty sure there will be concerts with bands that might be of interest for you very soon. So stay tuned. I'm Curious George. Goodbye.